So iPhone 13 or 12S. If you had a color option you want to see again, what would it be? Because yes, we have a ton of new leaks on that next iPhone, which might be a 12S, and part of these include a pretty interesting color making a return. New leaks give us more information on AirTags and even a different kind of Apple Watch, and I'm not just talking shape. And Google just uh, launched the new alliance for you to get rid of your physical keys and wallet. I'm Jaime Rivera, happy Friday, and I guess Google is committed to helping us uh, who can't find our keys anywhere. You know who you are. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals, and yes, Samsung is still running their Discover Spring event, and we're actually getting weather to back that up. So the Galaxy S21 and S21 Plus are still available for 100 bucks, and the Ultra for 299 if you have an eligible device for trade-in. There's also a special on deals of the day, which we will link to in the description in case you make the time to get there on time. Now, moving on to OnePlus, the OnePlus 8T is currently $200 off, leaving it at 599 and you can also get the 8 Pro, which is $300 off, leaving it at for $699. And moving on to Amazon, the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II is $150 off, leaving it at 1050 like I know who calls these deals but anyways the OnePlus 7T is also $50 off with a coupon leaving it for 380 which is a very solid deal of course we have other Samsung deals OnePlus Sony devices as well in the description now let's stick to official news but move on to Huawei for a moment as the company is still at it and I mean even with the Android problems their Windows business seems to continue just fine because they just launched the new MateBook X Pro 2021. This one features a 13.9 inch ultra full view display that supports up to 3K resolution at 260 ppi but it retains the same design as previous generations. It brings a 91% screen to body ratio and still brings 10 point touch support. It's powered by the latest 11th gen Intel processors along with Iris X graphics uh, going from Intel Core i5 to the i7 and when it comes to storage you get one terabyte and Huawei is adding a new shark fin fan design as well as a vapor chamber cooling system it brings USB-A a headphone jack two USB-C ports and it promises to handle daily workloads of 11 to 10 hours of browsing the thing is I mean even if this continues to be one of my favorite designs and laptops for the longest time and I don't mind it sticking around Around another year I still I'm, I don't know I did not like the last generation because it didn't include Thunderbolt and it seems that that might be the same case here the specs were kind of vague so we'll keep you posted as soon as we learn more but all right let's move the spotlight on to Google as a well they just announced something as well something that's actually kind of late or really needed the company is launching the Android ready SE Alliance to make sure that new phones have the hardware to eventually replace your car and home keys and even your wallet SE stands for secure element which would be the tamper resistant hardware your device needs for emerging user features like mobile passports and their data to be protected and I know this sounds kind of confusing but basically Google launched this alliance in order to accelerate adoption of secure element applications in order to allow you to have digital keys, digital IDs, digital wallets, and other forms of safer ways to keep your stuff. We'll keep you posted to see when any major announcements like certifications and whatnot are made as Google claims they're currently working on digital car keys and the mobile driver's license with some OEMs already preparing Android Ready SE for their devices. And finally, for the hottest news, part one of two with Apple. And I know it's kind of early, but you'll understand why we are splitting this into segments. One for wearables and accessories and the other for iPhone. Starting with the Apple Watch, we have a new report from Bloomberg that uh, claims that the company is working on the launch of their first rugged smartwatch for either 2021 or 2022. Now to quote the report, it is aimed at athletes, hikers, and other users who uh, use their device for more extreme environments clearly wanting to hit Garmin hard now apparently this watch is internally called the Explorer edition and of course uh, it'll have some tweaks based on durability and impact resistance by adding things like a rubberized exterior but uh, Apple 
Rubberized exteriors are not the only thing we like about our garments. We also like battery life, which your Apple Watch still can't really nail well. Now, moving away for just a second, everything Apple Pro released a new video with a ton of leaks. One of them being that AirTags have a dimension of 32 by 32 millimeters and that they would be priced at $39. Now, the reason why we're mentioning this right after the Apple Watch is because he also claimed that we could be expecting an event or assignment release soon where there's sources claim that we could expect three categories being tablet, wearable, and accessories. So if the accessory is the AirTags and the wearable are most likely going to be the AirPods, we know that the Apple Watch will most likely be something to expect by the fall. We'll keep you posted. But okay, finally, again, for the second hottest news today, let's talk Apple. iPhone 13 and that everything Apple Pro video where he gave us a ton of exclusive leaks from Max Weinbach. Starting with the design, he reiterated on the latest notch leaks we covered a couple of days ago uh, that, again, looked like a two-year-old Android phone. But speaking of that notch, Apple will be improving the audio experience by using beamforming in the earpiece, which is a nice addition. Now, when it comes to the camera, we'll be getting the same design, but the protruding rings should be getting smaller. So they they won't stick out as much as they do on the 12 Pro Max. And he also mentioned that that LiDAR sensor will stick on the Pro models. We'll apparently be getting some automatic OIS correction mode where it gives you better stabilization and the powerful portrait mode overhaul. And probably one of the most interesting updates is the color variants where we could be getting a matte black variant like we got on the iPhone 7 or fine, the Galaxy S21 Ultra. And it seems to have a special coating to address fingerprints. Now, Another option seems to be an orange bronze variant, but they apparently claim that this might not likely happen. Finally, he claims that the iPhone 13 mini will still happen with battery improvements because of the new A15 chip. Anyways, let us know in the comments down below what do you think about these possible improvements on that iPhone 12s or 13, because in my case, uh, you know, it's Apple is very safe about their iteration, so I'm not really expecting much, but it would be nice to see that map black color option making a return. That's just me. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram. And follow me on my personal handles to see me be one of those people that always loses his keys. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.